Baron Von Foriger with Grillax.com. I'm here to show you how we have found some problems with our pit boss. We found that it was smoking out of the pellet box. You ever have that happen? Uh, instead of taking the auger out, which all of Google says to do, we found a really easy fix. And it's not what you think. <laughs> As you can see, this Pit Boss pellet pot, it is totally rusted out, probably eight years old, lived its life, ran its course, but it's done. Now all we have to do is remove these four screws that came with it. What we're gonna use is a number eight socket to remove these. Now you can look and see if you can use the Phillips head on this, but this is so old and so rusted and heat driven that you're probably going to need just to use the socket. And once you get this, these screws removed, you're going to want to pull the pot and find your igniter. You'll see that the igniter goes back toward the control box under your pellet hopper. But as you can see, it's held here with a, a locking screw. So you're going to want to remove that screw and then remove your igniter from the pot. Take the pot out. And as you can see, this one is this one is pretty worn. And this new one that we got from Amazon. You can see the difference. It's a lot better, as you can see, and it's ready to go. So how we're going to do this is we're going to get a piece of string. We're going to tie it to the old one, the old igniter, and we're going to pull that through once we get down under by the control panel. You're going to want to make sure that the no power to your unit and then you're going to want to take off this protective plate for your control panel and all of your wires. So over by your fan that feeds the pit boss, on the side you will feel the wire connected to your igniter and you're going to pull it out and with it the string that we tied to it. Now with your new igniter you want to plug it in it's a simple plug and play. Purple wire, and it is marked with a purple dot, so it makes it pretty easy. So go to the front, up to the top, and just pull your string. You'll pull the new igniter through nice and easy. Now with our new pot, it's a lot more durable, a lot more sturdy. But one thing is, they don't always come with the correct screw sizes. So hold on to the old screws and, that you had with your original pot, because you're going to need them. So once you get your new igniter locked onto your new pot, you're going to want to look into your auger tunnel here, because that's where we had the problem. You're going to want to get all those pellets and ash out of there before you put the new pot in. It's really easy. You just put the pot in on the high side, give it a short little turn under the auger, and you're good to go. And as you can see, your igniter needs to be out about eighth of an inch or a little more. Now we found that the screws that we used were the ones that we're going to have to stay with because the ones they sent with it just didn't fit Pit Boss. Which it happens. Be careful. You're going to use the screws that came with your Pit Boss originally. So they're going to be old. They're going to be fire worn. So you're not going to want to put a lot of torque on these screws or you'll break them off and you'll have to just drill them out and start from scratch. So give it a nice little turn, one little half turn after, you should be good to go. Now once everything's in place, you got your control panel put on, you're going to want to burn off 
that oil from manufacturing. I set it to high heat just to burn everything off. As you can see, works like a charm, ready to get to work. Hope this helps.